In Fayette County, Tennessee, yet another day of grieving. Less than a week after a teenager who survived a possible drug overdose that killed two of her classmates was charged in their deaths, we're learning that same teen's mother has also died. Ray Garcia is chief deputy with the Fayette County Sheriff's Office. I can confirm that the mother of the juvenile who was charged in, with second degree murder in this instance, that mother has now passed away. It's believed the mother died in Collierville, but what isn't known is how she died. Was it from a drug overdose or something else? She had been rushed to an ER in Collierville, and we are working with their investigators to determine if this too was an overdose related death or if there was some other underlying health issue or what the cause was. This mother's death happening after two Fayette Ware High School students died earlier this month after a possible overdose hours before their graduation. <laughs> We lost two of our precious babies, and another one is critical in the hospital. That third student hospitalized was also charged. Still, this is a difficult and almost unimaginable time for students, parents, teachers, and those in law enforcement. It's a very tragic situation dealing with these teens, first of all, and now that we have a, a possible other family member that is tied into this, and it, it goes to show the potential dangers surrounding the drugs that are out there on the street nowadays, how powerful they are and how much damage and devastation it can cause in one community. A community grieving again as it searches for answers and as the Fayette County Sheriff's Office sends out yet another warning for students and parents. So you're not safe when someone hands you a pill. You're not even safe when someone hands you any drug that you don't know exactly where it came from because you don't know what it's been laced with. Alex Coleman, WREG TV, News Channel 3. Some good advice there. And right now, investigators are not releasing the woman's name, but the Fayette County Sheriff's Office says it's awaiting toxicology re results to help determine the cause of death.